Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to install Lubuntu on VMware Workstation. So Lubuntu is a flavor of Ubuntu which is fairly lightweight and can be installed on older hardwares. Now the benchmark, the minimal, the minimum requirement which Lubuntu has set is that the hardware uh, should not be older than, than those that has been um, released before year 2000. So to to get started, we'll have to install, we'll, ha we'll have to download Lubuntu. For that, let's go to the Ubuntu.com website, and in the download section, you can see Ubuntu flavors. So if we click on it, you see you see the list of all the Ubuntu flavors. Now let's click on Lubuntu, and then you see two options, which is desktop 32-bit and desktop 64-bit. So since I have a 62-bit hardware machine hardware. I, I would be uh, downloading desktop 64 bit version. Now this download can be slow. So I would recommend that you guys um, download through magnet. That is the torrent file and it would be much faster. So actually I have already downloaded uh, the installer and then I'll and then I'll start. Let's let's see the installation process. But before that, I would like to show you the official uh, Lubuntu website, which is lubuntu.net. You can see all the, you can see, uh, you, you can read about the documentation and uh, its features um, from this site. So now let's start installing the installation process. Um, let's start installing uh, Lubuntu. So, this, so I've got my VMware workstation open. Now to create a new new virtual machine, let's uh, click on create, create new virtual machine. You can also uh, start creating the new virtual machine from file, uh, new virtual machine. And then it's uh, it actually starts the same uh, process. Now in this case, we'll be choosing typical. Click next and then um, choose on install installer disk image file. So I would now navigate to the downloaded file now the file you download would be something of this format so the file name would be looked into dash the version then then followed by the platform so let's uh, let's select ubuntu and then click open now you see that that uh, vm workstation does not detect the um, the um, the operating system automatically so what we have to do is simply just press next and we'll have to uh, specify what kind of operating system we'll be installing so in this case let's select um, linux and then under the version we can choose ubuntu 64 bit and if it is if you have downloaded 32 bit then um, you can simply uh, select ubuntu only now click next now you can um, name this machine anything so i'm going to call this ubuntu And then you can choose the location. I've, uh, I have left it as a default. Then click next. And then um, 20 GB is fine. Then we'll have to select um, split virtual disk into multiple files. This is OK. Then next, we can customize the hardware. So for this demonstration, I'll be using 2 GB RAM. And the processor I'll be using is like number of processors uh, 2. Number of cores would also be 2. Then I would select then close that would press finish now we'll have to power on this virtual machine for the installation process to start so let's power on this machine now here you see now you'll have to select the language so I'm going to select English and then you can also uh, try Lubuntu without installing but but since this video is about installing i would be installing lubuntu so you can just um, arrow down to uh, install lubuntu and then press enter now we'll have to wait for the um, the installation process to start now here we are 
all right so this is the welcome screen we'll be selecting uh, english as our default language you can choose anything from the list then continue then here you have got two options either you can um, you can update uh, lubuntu directly from here but uh, so either you can you can check this and you can also install third party softwares for graphic or wifi hardware so i would suggest that you check both these options now if you now next now installation type uh, choose the first op option erase disk and install lubuntu and now all the other three options uh, are um, are only if you are if if you are doing if you are going for a clean install and uh, not not using uh, and not using the virtualization soft software like the vmware workstation so select uh, erase disk and install lubuntu and then install now again continue choose your time uh, uh, choose your location so i'm i'm from india so i'll be selecting calcutta so you can choose uh, anything based on your location so continue now next we'll have to select the keyboard layout so you can choose anything from your preference i'll be choosing english us now you see that i don't I, I cannot see the option here so what i'll do i'll just drag it to one corner now you should be able to see all the options clearly so after selecting it i'll click on continue now enter your name so this would be the name of your uh, uh, computer and then you can choose your password and then continue now we'll allow the installation process to complete it would take some time and the process will go on automatically so that is all we had to do let's wait for the installation to complete now you see that the installation is complete and then we'll have to we have to restart the system so let's restart it so let's restart now here now you see that we don't see the, the full screen because we haven't installed the vmware vmware tools yet so let's wait for the system to restart and then we'll start vmware tools it's a bit tricky but i'll show you how to do it system is restarting now so don't worry about this message please remove the installation media which simply we just have to click enter that's it now uh, this process normally takes some time so you'll have to wait a bit this is just during the install later on it works really fine so now we have uh, come to a uh, to the home screen where we have to enter the password that we set earlier so let's enter the password and now we are will be logged into the system now we have got the toolbars uh, in the operating system now let's see if i if if i want to uh, go go full uh, now let's say if i want to enter the full screen mode now see what happens now this the screen doesn't scale scale to the uh, till the end of the screen till the edge of the screen so now we'll have to install the vmware tools so for that we have to go to vmware vm and then install vmware tools 
Now click install. Now you see that the uh, it will actually insert a removable media. So here let's click cancel and then what we have to do we have to open this folder. Open. Now you see VMware tools. It's a it's a tar file. So let's copy it to the desktop. If you if you try to extract it uh, here, you won't be able to do it because that's a that's a removable disk. So let's paste it here. You can paste it anywhere, but I prefer uh, the desktop. So let's wait for it to copy. Now we'll have to extract all the files here. Extract here. Now we see all the files I, uh, are being extracted. So now, now we have to, what we have to do is that, now what we have to do, we have to go inside the folder and then execute a file. So let's open the terminal. Now we go to system tools and then you see LX terminal. We open that and let's go to the folder, VMware tools folder. So let's enter, uh, let's go to, to the desktop, then uh, VMware tools, and then let's see the files. Now you have to run the file VMware install.pl. It's the, it's a Perl file. So for that we have to, uh, so we have to give the uh, sudo permission. So sudo, then uh, vmware dot pl. So now sudo vm install dot pl. Now it's asking if we want to install, still want to proceed with this legacy installer. Let's say yes then press enter. Now from here on we have to, all we have to do is to accept the defaults by by and by by pressing enter. So for every answer, for every um, question we have to press enter and let it go on. Yes. Enter. Now select yes, that is press enter, now for everything enter. Now the process has started. Now you see that the process has completed. Now what we have to do is to restart our virtual machine again and then we can see now then we can go uh, full screen mode so let's restart restart guest enter your password Now you see we have got, now we can use the Lubuntu machine in full screen mode. So thanks for watching guys. That was it.